All right, welcome back, my beautiful people, to our luxury series. Today, I got a special treat for you. I have a beautiful property in the Amalfi Coast, one of the most beautiful areas in Italy. For those of you that are not familiar with the Amalfi Coast, Amalfi Coast is one of those areas or one of those locations in Italy that is truly breathtaking. You hear people say picturistic town or, or that place is picturistic, but the Amalfi Coast truly is picturistic. It truly is a, a location that when you get there, you're just in awe with the beauty, the water, the atmosphere, the people, the food. It is just amazing. And this property that I am going to be showing you today, that it's one of our featured villas in this particular area, gives the Amalfi Coast, it gives it justice, right? It's, it's really one of those beautiful, breathtaking properties that you're not going to find anywhere but here. Without further ado, let me share my screen and let's talk about this beautiful property. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is the actual name itself. This property, as you can see by the name, is called Bendis. Now, Bendis comes from the word bendiciones, which is blessings. The name fits the property because it's this property truly is a blessing for the owners. And for those that stay there, you're going to feel and receive a lot of the blessings that this property actually has. It is, you know, the layout itself is super interesting, super unique because it is actually built into the cliff. And you're gonna see by the pictures in a second, but it is, it's a vertical property. I'll explain what I mean by vertical property, but it, it's the natural vertical of the rocks is part of, or the property is part about the, uh, part of the natural vertical of the rocks. It is a seven bedroom, seven bath home. We're gonna go into right now some of the features in the property. It has Wi-Fi, the wi but the Wi-Fi is only in the living area. The reason that's important for you guys to know is because the property itself, and you're gonna see, it's a large property. It has a lot of outdoor areas for you to socialize, eat, cook, etc. But in those outside areas, the, the Wi-Fi doesn't reach there. You have full kitchen. You actually have two kitchens. You have an outdoor kitchen and an indoor kitchen. Uh, you have an outdoor dining area, indoor as well, private parking. You have private access to the ocean. Uh, you have all the amenities that you expect from a high-end property, uh, like really good bedding, silverware, coffee station. You have everything that you, you expect from a five-star uh, luxury property. You're going to find in this particular property. And you're going to see what I'm talking about. It's kind of unique in, in its layout, but just to give you a layout, you, so you one bedroom is in the main villa, which is in the upper floor, has a queen bed. Bedroom number two is also in that main villa, but it's in the middle, middle floor. Bedroom three through six are in the lower floor. And then you have bedroom seven, which is in the annex building. It's an independent building in this bedroom. It's by itself, but I like this, you know, for those that want a little bit more privacy, I would pick this bedroom. And it's the cool thing about this bedroom too, it's, it's huge. It's a big bedroom. You do have have a private swimming pool, but the swimming pool is not heated. And that's important to understand because if you're not familiar with the Amalfi Coast, it does get kind of kind of cold or chilly uh, during the winter months. So the pool is not heated. And even in the summer months, I can tell you that the water is still kind of chilly for me, but I am an island guy. You know, for me, anything, anything below 70 degrees is freezing. So keep that in mind. The other thing to keep in mind is just like all the other featured villas that I've talked about, it does come with a staff and the staff will be uh, will be at the location while you're there with the exception in the evening times because uh, in this particular case the staff will leave right after dinner which is the butler and uh, the chef they'll leave right after dinner uh, and then i believe the maintenance people which is the pool people and the garden people they're all gone by four but you you might run into them here and there depending on what their the maintenance schedule is there is a minimum seven night stay in this property so trust me you're going to run into some of the maintenance people if you're there. A couple of things to also understand about this particular property. This property is, because it's on the countryside, the internet is not that great. If you're looking to, to do like Zoom calls or conference calls, probably not a good idea to do it while you're there because it's it's really slow, a little unreliable. Now, if you have data or like I use, I use a, a my own hotspots that I try, which are satellite, oftentimes they work, but understand that it's, you know, it's not that great. The other thing is that check-in is only between 
4 and 7 p.m. And, and I know that can be an issue for some people that are flying in. You could arrange a, a later check-in, but it's gonna be at an extra cost. And then checkout is at 10 a.m. Those very important to understand. Before I get into what the actual cost per night is, let's just look at the actual property. Now, we're gonna start right here. So this is an overview of the property. As I mentioned, you know, the property is uniquely constructed on a cliff. And, and as you can see here, it's multi-level. So you're going to be required to do some climbing. So you have to get, there is, there's no elevators here. So if you're in the lower floor, which is down here, and you wanted to go to the upper floor, you have to climb steps. Uh, and it is pretty steep, people, so keep that in mind. Here's the lower floor. Like I mentioned, most of the bedrooms are gonna be down here. Here's the main floor. As I there's two bedrooms here. There's two bedrooms here as well. And then here's the annex building that I was talking about. Here's where that other larger bedroom is. You have a larger bedroom, but to get to the main house here and here, uh, you know, you do have to walk. But anyways, the property is just freaking gorgeous. Look at the pool. Wait till I, uh, I'll show you the rest in a second. Here's a clo uh, closer look. Uh, here's some of the views of when you're on top side. Uh, if you're afraid of heights, might not be your, <laughs> your cup of tea unless you stay inside. Uh, but just the views are breathtaking, people. Look at how beautiful this is. And again, look how unique this property is. These pictures don't do this justice. Just so you know, it is so much more impressive and a lot more can appreciate the beauty and, and the, the core in person, not so much in these pictures, but uh, you know, the photographer did the best they can do. Here's the pool, decent sized pool. It's really nice. You can swim some laps here. While you're there, it's beautiful. I just can't speak about this more highly. Now, let's talk about the decor. The decor for me is a more of an industrial look. It does have some contemporary components, but most of it is industrial. So you're gonna find a lot of cement pieces. I'll show you one of the bedrooms. You're gonna find piping. As you can see, look, the floors are that cement color. This is, so it's almost like con a concrete look. It's here as well. Now this is wood, but, but let me go back here real quick. This is the living area. And just to give you an idea where we are located right now. So this these are these areas here. This is the look from the inside. So when you're here you, and you're facing facing out, you're looking right outside. You're looking right at the ocean or the Mediterranean. So you're looking right at the Mediterranean. Here's the, one of the dining areas. Here's the kitchen. This is the indoor kitchen. Here's one of my favorite bedrooms. This is the bedroom I was. This is the bedroom I was talking about. I'm gonna show you how gorgeous this bedroom. It gives you nice living area. The bed's up high, and look at that view, people. It is really, really nice. Now, the property itself, or the or the bedrooms, are heated, and some of the living areas are heated. But obviously, in the open areas, it is not. So I mentioned this again. If you go there in the winter time, it does get a little chilly. Look at this. This is what a, another bedroom. Again, you still got the same view, living, living area. These are all bedrooms now coming up. Uh, these are Some of these bedrooms are smaller bedrooms. These are the ones on the lower level. So I'm gonna go kind of quick. Here's some of the bathrooms. Here's what I was talking about in terms of industrial look, some of the decor. If you see that this is a metal with wood. The other thing to mention is the, the, the linen are all, they're gonna be the same. It's that white linen throughout all the bedrooms. You have the white walls uh, with the gray flooring. This one here is tile, but most of it has that concrete look. Here's the, the wood table that I was mentioning, like this one here it's, that I mentioned. There, there, It does have some contemporary look to some of the areas, but look at this. Uh, this is all stone. It's really, really cool. Again, more the outside, more pictures. Of, uh, okay, so here's my favorite part of the property is all these outdoor areas that I'm about to show you. Again, though, keep in mind, you're all in the open area. It does, it does get a little windy here sometimes. So that's just something to keep in mind. But here's the beauty about it. It is shaded. If you get, if you don't want to have direct sunlight, you're not going to get it. Um, and if you want direct sunlight, you, you could get that. Look at how cool this is, especially 
especially like even now this is like in almost the evening excuse me almost the evening time just imagine yourself sitting out here with your friends drink drinking some great italian wine and just socializing right interacting with your loved ones uh, this is amazing people it is super super cool now this is that outdoor dining area this is where i would spend most of my my time i've said this a lot in some of the other feature properties you know when i when i'm traveling not and i'm looking for a property and the same same thing goes for those of you that are uh, short-term rental operators, right? Focus on the outside people. That's where your highest ROI is going to be. This property did a phenomenal job focusing on the outside. This is That's where you should put your money. Inside, you can have an average kitchen. The inside can be completely average. It won't make much of a difference. But that outside, if you do what this particular owner did, trust me when I'll tell you, you will reap the reward because you would do very well here's that outdoor kitchen it is amazing people with the oven you can do your you know it's italy cook your pastas your pizzas just awesome and i would i like i said i personally would spend most of my time outside versus inside now interesting thing about this property is that it doesn't have a lot of inside because they incorporated nature throughout the entire property so it does have a small living area not super small it's actually for most people it's it's going to be kind of big uh, but compared to the size of the property the inside is not super big again the bedrooms are really separated apart so spend most of your time right here where i'm showing you just chill out here enjoy Enjoy these beautiful views. I tell me particular, particularly, I've not had the pleasure to actually stay in this property. I, we only had a chance to visit it and see it. But I can tell you, if I if I ever get the opportunity to stay here, I'm not leaving. You know, I'm gonna spend a couple of full days just relaxing and staying on the property because it's amazing. The gym is really nice. I don't have any pictures of the gym. The gym is shared though because the gym is by the by the annex and is shared with the property next door. Uh, when we were there, we we saw no one in the gym. It's not really used. I personally use it a lot. I want to show you this particular picture just to give you an idea on some of the stairs, right? This is one of the stairs to go down to the lower level. And if you want to go down to the water, you have to go down through here. So you are climbing people. It's, you know, there's no, no, no work around. You have to climb, especially if you want to go down to the water. There's that little bridge that takes you down to the water. Anyway. Oh, wait, I don't think I, I'm sorry. I don't think we talked about how much it's going to cost. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. All right, so let's talk about the rates. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of different rates. It's gonna, with the exception of one month, which is the month of October, I'm gonna talk about that in a second. You're 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 gonna pay somewhere between four thousand dollars, and the most is gonna be sixty five hundred dollars uh, per night. Now, this is a per night rate. I personally think it's it's well worth the money uh, especially if you go with a group you can share some of the cost it is a once in a lifetime deal people i'm often asked and i've done videos on this before so you can search my library as it relates to when to travel and when to go to europe when to go to south america what's what's a good time what's not a good time and this is a prime example like for example i am preparing to travel to europe for most of october and the reason i'm going in october is because everything is literally almost half the cost had I gone in the summer so here's an example right from September 28th to November 1st again all of October you have a nightly rate of, of let's say three thousand dollars 29.58 right versus if I went in the summer anytime between June 7th all the way to September 5th I'm paying sixty five hundred dollars right it's half people here's why I tell people all the time here's another thing that I, why I'm traveling to Europe in October is because you don't have of the crowds I'm, I'm a person that i'm at that age in which i don't want to be around a lot of people i don't like to go to big concerts anymore i don't want to have be bumping into people uh if you've been to rome in the summer you've been to madrid in the summer you know what i'm talking about it is wall to wall people i don't want that i want to be able to chill i want to be able to see whatever sites i'm going to see i want to go to see that site and not not have to fight through crowds to see you know two seconds of the mona lisa I October, great time to go. And if you look here, you also have another time will be to go, I'm sorry, here will be March 29th through my through May 9th. It's another good time to go. It's $4,100. It, the same thing applies almost anywhere in Europe. You know, for me, I usually go to Europe and I'm, I'm gonna be going to Greece this in 2025 
for the month of May. Uh, now in October, I'm going to be going to Amsterdam, uh, Brussels, and I might, might, uh, depending on how my schedule goes, I may shoot up to Croatia, but I'm doing that in October. It's low season. I, I go to Europe every year in May, low season. Everything's half the cost. The weather is better. Anyways, now finish again with subscribe to this channel. If you haven't subscribed, follow me on Instagram. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.